Hello and welcome to the second part of this build. You see, in a sailboat we can go upwind. And though this may seem magic, this is actually due to the presence of the keel. Well, the keel is made with a long fin and uh, it has an airfoil profile. The sails also are an airfoil profile and they produce an aerodynamic force that can be decomposed in an aerodynamic side force and a thrust force. That is what makes the boat move forward. The aerodynamic force is balanced by the hydrodynamic force that is generated by the keel and that can be the composing hydrodynamic lift and drag along the water velocity. Note that the velocity of the boat and the yacht's heading are misaligned with a leeway angle lambda. So the keel adds in order to balance the forces generated by the sails. Without the keel, a sailboat won't be able to move up wind. We can also notice that the two forces are generally misaligned and so a moment is generated and this can be balanced adding a rudder and so um, another force that balances and cancels this moment. We have now to manufacture the keel and the rudders and one of the best solutions is to use the carbon fiber. Why do we use this material? Well, that is a very intelligent material because changing the direction of the fibers we can change the strength of the composite because it is an anisotropic material. And so we will manufacture the keel, the rudders, the mast and also the bowsprit in this material. The keel and the rudders, they act like a wing of an airplane and they can be modeled as a beam with distributed load. So there will be a compressed and an extended part the resistant material should be located in the outer part of the beam where the maximum stress are located. It is possible to place the resistant material, so the carbon fiber, in the outer part using a sandwich construction. Let's make the sandwich. The core is used to give the shape to the final object and separate the two skins of the composite. It does not contribute to the strength. The skins are the resistant part using bidirectional carbon fiber and fiberglass along the keel. Now we can prepare epoxy resin and soak the fibers. Using a vacuum bag will distribute an even pressure. Now we can place the pin for the canting keel. Once we've done this, a stainless steel plate is inserted in the keel that will act as a support to the canting mechanism and that needs to be strengthened with some carbon. Now everything is covered with another structural and aesthetic layer of carbon. The keel is almost finished, let's build the rudders. So starting with 3D printing the course. Then making the shafts.
and cover the core with the carbon fiber skins. Now a bit of sanding that is never missing. And of course the transparent finish paint. Another thing you will see me do over sanding is polishing. Now that we did the keel, it is time to make the lead bulb with a plaster mold. That will be the worst mold I've ever made, but it worked as well. I made a cure in the oven and then I've melted the lead and made the castings. We'll be making holes for the pins and milling the slot for the fin. Now let's make the bowsprit using the same 3D printed core and a carbon fiber sleeve. After that, the mask can be done in the same way. We will use an emptied IU wood stick as the core. That will reduce a lot the mass of the mast. After carving the wood, the two halves must be joined with glue and then the mask can be shaped. Carbon sleeve can be inserted. Also spreaders are made out of carbon fiber. and a bit of transparent lacquer, of course. Last but not least, the boom.
the second part of the realization is finished, we have the hull and all the appendices, next time we'll see the painting process, the realization of the superstructure and the installation of electronics. So now don't be lazy and subscribe.